I'm Erica Sargent. I'm Brad Edwards. Thanks for staying up late with us and welcome to those of you tuning in a few minutes early for Colbert tonight. The focus of his show tonight on climate change. Over the past few years, we've seen the impacts here in Chicago. Lake levels at record highs and scenes like this live picture right now. Waves pushing on shore, pounding at the coastline are certainly not helping our erosion problems. So we send CBS 2's Marie Saavedra to look for solutions and ways we're already fighting climate change on the shores of Lake Michigan. 15 years ago, this was the lake. For Mark Wagstaff, waterfront engineer with Smith Group, an angry Lake Michigan is fun to watch. It puts some of the designs he's done for the Chicago Park District to the test. We met him here to talk about our changing climate and what that means for the lakefront we know and love. When people talk about climate change related to the lake, related to your planning, what, what does that look like? Climate change wants to make for warmer air, which means more precipitation. But at the same time, because we don't have as much ice cover every winter, we can have more evaporation with that warmer atmosphere. That wants to sort of send lake levels down. So the people who study this, what they're saying is that we should expect more variability in the future. In the future, as it comes to design, what could that mean? For people who use the Lakefront Trail regularly, I think they have begun to see some of these changes already in the last few years. These large, semi-permanent, uh, or temporary sandbags, those are there to provide temporary protection from the waves. You know, one thing that people may see is the greater use of native vegetation, those kinds of plants are more resilient to extremes. They are small efforts to protect our lakefront from the high highs and low lows brought on by the changing climate. At Burnham Park, Marisa Vedra, CBS 2 News.